we discuss question three of A-level mathematics paper six, probability and statistics two. The masses in kilograms of large sacks of flour and small sacks of flour have the independent distributions. So these distributions are normal distributions. And for this case, we actually have two random variables. We can let x to be the random variable denoting the mass of large sacks. Then x here follows a normal distribution with a mean of 40 and a standard deviation of 1.5. And we let y to be the mass of small sacks. So y follows normal distribution with a mean of 12 and a standard deviation of 0 0.7. Now these distributions are independent. So we know that x and y are independent. Part A, we need to find the probability that the total mass of six randomly chosen large sacks of flour is more than 245 kilograms. So this is more than 245. And we are talking about mass of six randomly chosen large sacks. So we are looking at x here. Then we can denote the random variable u to be a sum of six of these x. So you have x sub one, x sub two, and then you add up to x sub six. And you cannot use u equals six x because the variance will be wrong. So do not do that. When you're talking about the total mass, you're supposed to add. Otherwise you're going to get a wrong variance for u then the expected value of u would be the expected value of x sub 1 plus expected value of x sub 2 until the expected value of x sub 6. Um, this one has the mean does not matter. So there are six of these. That is 6 times 40. You have a mean of 240. The variance of the total mass that would be the variance of x sub 1 plus variance of x sub 2 until you have the variance of x sub 6. So there are six of these. So you have 1.5 squared. Six of them added together, you have six times 1.5 squared, six times the variance of each x. That gives a value of 13.5. If you use u equals six x, then the variance of u is 36 times the variance of x, which is very different from six times the variance of x. So that cannot be used. We know that u follows a normal distribution because uh, you're adding six normal distributions. Some of six normal distribution is still normal with a mean of 240 and a variance of 13.5. You need to find the probability that u is greater than 245. u is just a normal distribution. In order to find the probability that u is greater than 245, we need to standardize. So upon standardizing, we have probability z greater than 245 minus the mean, which is 240. And we need to divide by the standard deviation. 13.5 is the variance. So standard deviation is the square root of the variance. And z here follows a standard normal distribution. So we find the probability z is greater than 1.361. So if you draw the standard normal distribution, 
that is the mean and we have 1.361 we need to find the area of this region but from your probability standard normal table you can only find the left tail region which is 0 0.9133 this region is 1 minus 0 0.9133 which is 0 0.0867. So the probability that we need to find has a value of 0 0.0867. For part B, we need to find the probability that the mass of a chosen large sac, which is x, is less than four times the mass of a randomly chosen small sac. So we find the probability that x is less than four y. Now, this is not going to be pretty, so we can bring the four y over and we have x minus four y less than zero. That is the probability that we need to find and we can denote w as x minus 4y. So we can replace x minus 4y with w, and we can let w to be x minus 4y. Then the expected value of w is the expected value of x minus 4 times the expected value of y. And expected value of x is 40 minus 4 times 12. That would be negative 8. That would give us the mean of w. To find the variance of w, the variance of ax plus by or plus or minus by, it doesn't matter whether you have a plus or minus, is always a square variance of x. If it's minus, it's converted to a plus. The variability can only increase and never decrease plus b squared variance of y. Then variance of w is variance of x plus 16 variance of y. So variance of x is 1.5 squared plus 16 times the variance of y, which is the square of 0.7 and that is 10.09. So now we know that W follows a normal distribution. Since X and Y are independent, the linear combination of independent normal distributions is still normal. The mean of W is negative eight, standard variance is 10.09. And the probability that x is less than 4y, this is the same as the probability that w is less than 0. We need to standardize. So z minus 0 minus negative 8. Be careful here. This is going to end up positive in the numerator. And we divide by 10.09. Z follows a standard normal distribution. And when we compute this part, we get a value of 2.519. So probability z greater, sorry, probability z less than 2.519. This is zero, you have 2.519. And that is the area that we need to find. And we can just read this value of the standard normal table that has an area of 0 0.994, then the probability that we need to find has a value of 0 0.994.